Alright, now to close out the show, I've got something very cool. Everybody's been wanting the Backyard Wrestling Spotlight to come back. Well, it's coming back in this episode, and it's not just coming back with one, it's coming back with two different bios for two different wrestlers. The very first one we will go to now is from Blade Wrestling in Rhode Island, and uh, this is a little backstory, a little bit of the behind-the-scenes origins of David Potter, so let's go to that. And, uh, enjoy. My name is Tigger David Potter, and I am a wrestler of the XJW. Um, I got started with it because I was out with injury from, um, MMA. I started MMA about, I started amateur wrestling about 1997. I was a two time district champion, made to the regionals, made to the states. When I was younger, went to high school, I was varsity every year. In uh, 2001, I got started training in Jiu Jitsu, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Gracie Jiu Jitsu. Uh, I mean, uh, Dave Potter probably was the elite fighter in XAW. Uh, my black belt. Um, I was going to fight in the FCFF July, uh, actually uh, September of 2005. Uh, unfortunately, I got a hernia injury, which uh, sent me back. Uh, I got in contact, I was at a birthday party of uh, one of our wrestlers, and I got in contact with Dave Costaldo. And Dave Costaldo basically offered me that if I want to, I can come wrestle for his uh, wrestling federation. And um, got to talking with him, and I said, well, this is pro wrestling. And at the time, I was strictly against pro wrestling. I thought pro wrestling was all bullshit, it was all phony, it was all actors. And uh, I decided I would uh, give it a whirl because he seemed so so serious about it. Tigger's my man. I love him. I'll do anything for him. And I wanted to uh, give my hand in it and see what I could do. And then, um, first event rolled around, and I said, man, maybe, maybe I can really make an impact in this. Alright, now it's their twofer. It's time for our second one. This, I know you will enjoy, because this guy is fantastic. This is the Georgia World Circuit's own C.J. Lennon. On this, the second edition of Backyard Wrestling Spotlight, for this week's episode, we talk about Christopher James Lennon a.k.a. the Georgia Wrestling Circuit's own C.J. Lennon. He is arguably the most underhanded individual ever to set foot in a circuit ring. Many consider him to be one of the finest athletic performers and stiff in-ring technicians known to YouTube. C.J. Lennon was born in St. Louis, Missouri, although he currently lives in Georgia where he currently wrestles for the GWC, although at the moment he is not allowed to wrestle in the BWE, so we have no idea if he will come back. When CJ Lennon effectively lost the last man standing match to the Outlaw at BWE Summer Blast, he was forced to leave the BWE as per stipulation. His wife though, on the other hand, currently runs the BWE. Her name is Lacey Lennon. She was born in 1989 and currently has a son. CJ Lennon, himself a former five-time BWE champion, has had many high-profile matches, including GWC International Heavyweight Championship bouts against the suicidal all-star Mike Cross. The future for CJ Lennon seems unknown at the moment, but we know that his underhanded tricks and tireless adversity will once again put him in the squared circle, raising gold once more. This is C.J. Lennon. Well, alright folks, we are just about done here. There's only a couple more things I want to go over really quick. Uh, the first one, please send me more stuff, okay? Now, I like uh, the videos. The videos are nice. But what I'm saying is send me written work. Um, what I mean is more like uh, your bios, 
uh, storyline stuff, you know, send me, uh, if you have a great feud, write everything down about it. Everything that's happened every week of this feud, give it to me and I will use it on this show, okay? Uh, it takes a lot of effort to go out and find, at first I had to watch almost every single show there is. I had to find one good storyline, find out everything about it, and then write about it and put it into a video. That takes a lot of effort. And so if you send me the stuff, if you go, hey, I have this great wrestler, and here's his bio, here's everything that's happened to him, uh, and I will use it, because it is right there, right there for me to use. So please, be vocal about what you want to see, specific what you want to see. If you want to see this wrestler, give me a bio, okay? I will love that, and, and, and I will use it here. So uh, the very last thing I would like to introduce to the internet the Battleborn Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. If you don't know yet, Battleborn Wrestling is the new alliance in Nevada. I've collected all of the backyard wrestling organizations in Nevada. There is the uh, Local Lucha Council, Generation X Wrestling, the Lost Souls Division, and Top Dog Championship Wrestling. And I've taken those four organizations under my wing, and we've created an alliance, the one alliance that, that represents Nevada like nothing else, uh, Battleborn Wrestling. And this is our heavyweight title, and we will have many other titles, but this will be the top one, and everyone will be gunning for this. So uh, remember, December 7th, December 7th, that's two weeks away, we will be unleashing BBW1 Battleborn. That will be our very first show, and it will host the semifinals, no, the quarterfinals, to our eight man tournament for this belt, and then Three weeks later, December 21st, the semifinals and finals will take place. And we will see a new champion, the very first inaugural champion, by the end of this year. So uh, there's that for you. And uh, I will see you guys next week, though. So until then, this is your markout moment of the week. See ya! Oh, oh my... God.